Next, we will go through the sections of a generic data management plan. Data management planning is the basis of good data handling and it offers a lot of advantages in the long run. To find out more about importance of planning and tools available, see our video Introduction to Data Management Planning. Next, we will go through what a data management plan should include. A DMP should start with basic information about the research project. The first part of a DMP lists the data types used in the project. Rest of the DMP describes how the different data types are handled, documented, organized and protected throughout the project lifecycle and what standards will be used. Remember that data management costs should be taken into account in the project budget. This is a list of sections that a generic DMP includes. They can be in a different order, but the content remains more or less the same. In the first part, you list and describe the data types you work with. Do you, for instance, collect, produce or reuse data? Usually, you need to specify data formats and estimate how much data will there be. Additionally, you should also think how data quality is ensured. Second part is about ethical and legal issues related to your research data. Do you work with personal, sensitive or confidential data in your project? How has data security issues been taken into account? Have you acquired the necessary research permits and conducted an ethical review? It is also important to have legal issues sorted out regarding data ownership and data sharing. Third section defines data documentation. How will the data be described during and after the project, so that it will be reusable and understandable for others? It is recommended to use discipline-specific standards when describing the data. You should also consider readme files, file naming conventions, folder structure and version control to keep your data in order. Fourth section describes where the data is stored during the project and how data protection is organized. Are you using, for example, institutional IT services or CSE services? Fifth part handles where and when data is published and open after the project. Where will the data be made findable, accessible and reusable for others? Data-specific repositories should be favored. If your data has long-term value, it should be archived for future generations and you should choose an archive or a data deposition repository that provides long-term preservation. Last section concerns data management responsibilities. It should be clear who are the responsible persons regarding data stewardship, data protection and data security issues. Finally, Consider what resources, such as time, money or software, will be needed in managing the data properly. Contact your home organization support services to get advice on data management plans. Thank you for watching.